one of the scariest moments in my life was due to a lack of communication. Right, when I was 17, I got my appendix out and I remember it, I remember it really clearly. Right, I was in the living room in my house and I started feeling this pain in my stomach. Right, like lower abdomen, right side, fucking agony. Right? And my dad said, you've probably just get wind. <laughs> what I like today when I have wind. Right, what I like today. <laughs> When I have one. What I like today is sit-ups to help me loosen off. <laughs> so so he makes me get done in the carpet and with this appendix that's about to fucking explode, I start doing sit-ups, right? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Did you fart yet? No! I don't think it's wind, it's too sore. Wind can be agony, Ian. <laughs> Keep trying. Ah, fa fa. Ah, did you fart yet? No, you're down at my knees, holding my feet. If I fart, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> but he sees it, then he sit ups has turned me deathly white. And so he took me up to Stop Hill Hospital, where they whipped out the appendix. And I was out again for a, for a day or two, right? And eventually I start coming round, you know, start doing wee movements to see what's sore. And I decided to put my hand on to the, to the wound. You know, just to feel it, just to feel what was actually there, you know, out of curiosity. But as my horn is moving about down there, I discover something horrifying. My pubes were gone. Gone. Now, it turns out that when you get an operation, they need to avoid hairs getting inside your body when you're cut open, so they shave anything nearby, but I didn't fucking know that. Nobody bothered to tell me. I was in a panic. Where the fuck are my pubes? Where are my fucking pubes went? Is the trauma or the operation made them fall out? Is this permanent? Am I going to be a baldy boss for life? Where the fuck are my pubes? How the fuck am I going to make my shower gel foam up with no pubes? Like my horn was going everywhere trying to find them as if they'd maybe fucking moved down to my knees right but after a lot of like panic pattern I realised that I can feel something stubble I had been shaved shaved and for me that was even more worrying than the idea that they might have fell out because I'm not thinking for a second that I've been shaved for the operation for whatever reason I'm just no making that mental leap I'm dozy with painkillers and my mind has gone to other places I've heard stories about weirdos wandering hospitals at night doing nasty things to people. And I'm thinking that while I was at the game, some silence of the lambs buffalo bill bastard has sneaked a back razor under my covers and helped himself to some curly treats. Stuck them in a Robertson's jam jar and added them to his collection of fucking hairy curiosities. So I'm lying in that bed putting together a list of suspects Looking at all the fucking nurses trying to see who looks like they might be the Stob Powell Hospital phantom pube shaver. All this worry that could just have been avoided if they'd told me that it was part of their procedure. Why did they not tell me that? Why did they not tell me they were going to shave my pubes personally? I would always tell somebody if I was going to shave their pubes while they were unconscious. It's just good manners, always declare up front any pube shaving intentions that you might have. I mean, I wouldn't assume that a 17-year-old boy will just figure it out for himself. At the very least, somebody could have whispered in my ear as I was about to go under with the anaesthetic, I'm going to shave your pubes, wee man. I'm going to lift up your paper penis flap and I'm going to prune you.